apologize again for the uh, confusion last time, but we're so very happy to have you this morning. Good, and thank you so much for having us tonight. I do really want to let you know how much we appreciate you taking time from your meeting, allowing time in your meeting to honor and acknowledge students because they obviously that's why we're here, and um, especially in the area of civic virtues because they are near and dear to my heart, as you probably know, from other meetings. You may recall that we are working with a new, newly revised set of virtues this year. And at Central, the civic virtues are highlighted each month on the morning announcements where we have fifth graders giving the announcements and then adding a little tip of the day about that particular virtue, how to live out that virtue, or a little quote or something. And then the teachers follow up uh, by integrating that virtue into their curriculum. So when I asked for examples in December of how the humanitarian virtue was being used and played out and, and experienced by the kids in the classroom and outside of the classroom. I was stunned by the response. I had parents letting me know what their kids were doing outside of school, and individual kids coming up to me, but I was really floored by the things that classroom teachers were already doing with kids in the classroom, integrating humanitarian efforts into the peer curriculum. So I really wanted to acknowledge fifth grade and I, we do have a number of them here tonight. We have a few that are going to say a few words, but the ones that came, I'd like them all to come up because they all worked on this project. So guys, come on up. Just they, um, Fifth grade did so many things this year in terms of humanitarian efforts, and we have one especially we want to tell you about. Um, the fifth grade language arts teachers are Donnie Anzac, Lynn Harris, and Bobby Dass, which are other teachers, are Debbie Schushner and um, Dave McCutcheon, and some of our teachers are here tonight. Uh, the following students represent each fifth grade, and they will tell you a little bit more about the project that the kids did in language arts. Olivia Hume, Casey Cohan, Faith Benton, Alex Green, and Brenna Friday. Would you like to, do you want to face the board? Okay, let's go ahead. Let's start with Olivia. Good evening. During the month of December, Central's fifth grade explored humanitarianism in our language arts class. We learned that humanitarians are people who are devoted to helping other people. We studied about young people who made a difference in the lives of those less fortunate. In our reading books, we met Dana Brooks, a fifth grader from Dallas who turned her mother's kitchen into a meal factory for the homeless. We also studied the contributions made by the American Red Cross. We were amazed to learn the many services they provide. As a result, we decided to make a contribution to those in need in our own community. With the money collected, we assembled 20 fleece blankets. Like this. <coughs> These blankets were donated to the North Hills Community Outreach. We were proud to spread warmth throughout the community. We also received a certificate of appreciation. We were also impressed with the countless efforts of the American Red Cross and thought we should let them know. We sent thank you cards to show our appreciation of their fine work. Early in January, we received this plaque recognizing our awareness of their outstanding work. We have learned a great deal about humanitarianism. We even had to learn how to spell it. Now, we will see if you are smarter than a fifth grader. Grab a pencil. You have 30 seconds to spell humanitarianism. Get ready, get set, go. <laughs> Pencils down. Please check your work. <laughs> Collaborated with the classroom teachers and invited those students 
working on the above and beyond uh, activities to design and implement their own service projects. Students were required to research, plan, collaborate, and carry out those projects. Some of them are still going on. There were 10 projects in all, and they involved 33 students. Rachel Harrison will tell you a little bit about her project. A group of fifth graders got together to work on a community service project. We divided into classes and decided what we were going to do. Our group decided to give Easter baskets to the North Hills Community Office Center. We filled them with candy, books, and toys. It got tough sometimes, such as finding a time to get together, but we worked it out. This was a very fun project, and I hope it happens again, because it gave us a good feeling inside, just knowing we put a smile on some kids' faces. Mm -hmm. They are just launching our uh, local, our central chapter of the Kids Care Club, which is part of a national organization of Kids Care Clubs, which is affiliated with the um, uh, Points of Light Foundation, which you may be familiar with. And the purpose of this club is, is strictly to do service projects. We'll only have a couple of months to meet this year, but we already have service projects planned for starting right after the uh, holiday break. So we're, we'll be carrying on that, that uh, humanitarianism even throughout uh, spring, and we'll be ready for next year, too. So I think that it's alive and well at Central. Once again, I thank um, the Student Recognition Committee for um, inviting Central to, to present tonight, and thanks to the board for giving us some of your time tonight. Thank you. And thanks to our students and our students. Thank you very much. Thank you. 